Greetings and welcome to Ingrid's Insights. This is a timeless reading for my Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. So welcome to all of you and let's get going with this reading. And this is what you need to hear right now for my Aquarius. And so I hope you're doing well today and I invite you to bring your own question or curiosity uh, to this reading. There might be something on your mind that you want some clarity on. And this is the reading for you. Your angel aura oracles want you to know as your manifestation um, and affirmations for the week is Raphael. The number seven could be very important and the color green. And look at this angel. You might be stepping on a new path. Um, Climbing up with the green light to go for something that you thought was never possible for you, Aqua, and this healing energy around you. And it's saying love, travel, humor, vitality is coming for you. And let's get um, a tarot reading going. And spirit guides, thank you so much for overseeing this reading for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. And bring accurate, clear, and precise information for this question. And so it is. And this is you, Aquarius. You're coming into this question with the Six of Cups, with a sense of something harking you back to the past, a feeling of um, childhood, love, innocence. Um, a relationship might be coming back from the past. Uh, that is something you're asking about right now, Aquarius. But love on um, past memories, and also we know at times the past, especially childhood, as much as uh, we had beautiful memories, we also have had some uh, troubling experiences growing up, and some can be even traumatic. And this is saying, Aquarius, if there's um, something to do with this question about the past, to be really willing to look at this and to move um, into those past feelings so you can move forward and bring the beautiful and happy memories with you and to release the ones that aren't serving you as you move forward. And the hope and fear is judgment. Well, there might be um, a judgment call coming that you're being asked to make, Aquarius, about your past. Uh, this is the challenge. So it's saying a wake-up call. Maybe you've heard something. Uh, it could be on, in your own mind about something or that you've actually heard uh, some news, some communication about a past experience that is making you have to make a radical judgment on this because this is a major arcana and this is something very um, crucial coming up about this wake-up call to see. You might have been feeling like your life was somewhat um, uh, in dead, uh, the walking dead, but this is saying you're waking up and part of the waking up is being <clears throat> uh, brought to you by your past. So at the foundation, uh, what is maybe hidden from you or secret or you can't see yet is this desire, this passion, this ambition at the foundation. The Knight of Wands comes in um, bringing a dynamic energy because this um, energy goes in a movement, action-oriented way toward passion, desire, uh, goals. Um, it's this initiating energy uh, that is all fired up. And sometimes this can be a little cocky or aggressive. It can, can just burst in on the scene. Uh, so that's something that Aquarius that's at the foundation of this. There's a lot of energy. There's a lot of desire, passion, charisma going on. Um, about this question that you might not be able to see. And what is uh, coming in the um, as a possible outcome is strength. This is uh, the goal of this, or how this might resolve for you, this question, Aquarius. And it's saying uh, you will be um, asked to tame these inner 
uh, feelings. You, you know, we all have these drives and instincts and uh, um, ambitions like this night coming in. But it's saying that you're needing to um, know when to uh, speak out and go out for something aggressively and when to hold those feelings or thoughts within and calibrate how we manage our um, our lion, our beast, that inner um, passions within us, <clears throat> and to have this self-understanding as we move into this question. And because that's the goal is to understand, know yourself, and know how to work with these different forces and um, desires and goals within you. And that is what is a possible outcome. And what just happened in the past is uh, the sun. Well, there's been a lot of healing, a lot of growth, a lot of passion, success in your recent past. And the light is shining on um, your childhood. Something from your past, um, deep in your past, has been illuminated recently. And you're being asked to make a judgment about yourself or someone else or a situation you're in. And what is coming right now for you to work on and to understand uh, energetically is this wheel of fortune. Well, Aquarius, uh, two major arcana, uh, actually four in this reading already. And it's saying right now this present moment is calling you to... Um, Take this moment. The wheels are turning. This is um, divine timing on something. And you're going after it. And let that wheel turn because as we know, um, this can bring luck. Um, it's ruled by Jupiter, so it has its expanding energy as you move forward um, into the present moment, Aquarius. And wow, I mean, you've got four major arcana. And let's um, look at what it is that you see yourself and how you're um, orienting yourself in, within this question or situation. And you are the queen of pentacles, Aquarius. Well, whether you're a, a man or a woman, you're sitting on your throne of abundance and you're uh, nourishing uh, your money and uh, making it grow and it's feeding you as well. And you've been very successful financially at um, management of resources. And you have um, probably worked with property investments. And you're uh, very wealthy at some level, but you're also very generous. And you um, have enough for yourself, but you always are sharing with others. And so that's this energy that you're seeing as you come into this um a mystery reading for you, Aquarius. And the people around you that you're dealing with, this is Seven of Wands. Well, uh, the people around you perhaps have a lot of energy or dealing with standing up for themselves or uh, there's a lot of um, kind of competition and you're getting to the top. And that's saying the people around you might be having to uh, stand firm about something energetically. Uh, they have uh, uh, the energy around you is um, persevering, going for what it wants. You're uh, standing up for what it believes around you. And uh, the hope and fear is the Ace of Cups, where your hope and fear is that there will be love, um, new love, uh, this very deep love of yourself or just love of life or love of um, this experience of being present to whatever this question is, but your challenge or what you're feeling is a hope and fear is, will love come? Will I have this um, deep uh, interconnected feeling of love about myself and about the people around me? And the uh, advice is the five of <clears throat> wands. Well, it's saying, Aquarius, that... Uh, there will be competition, there will be some conflict, uh, some jockeying for position, and uh, because you've got the seven and the five of wands, they're both uh, positions of having to uh, kind of use your energy to stand up for yourself and to uh, go for what you want energetically and with your passion, but also to realize 
often when we go for our ambitions and our goals that uh, there can be conflict around us uh, when we're pursuing that. But uh, let's just um, go over this reading for my Aquarius. Uh, you start with how you see the situation or the situation itself is something that is nostalgia, bringing you to the past. You're bringing up, it's bringing up memories, um, maybe connections with people from the past is very important in this question for you, Aquarius. And around this question, what challenges um, the past or people involved in innocent relationships from your childhood, there's a judgment call being made and it's saying you have to make a judgment about something from your past, about how that was. And that might be difficult or it might be uh, wonderful, but it's saying there is this major wake up call. And it's saying I'm, you're being asked to go from one uh, perhaps way of looking at your life and your situation uh, from the past and uh, to a whole new way of seeing it. Because uh, the, when you wake up, you die to this old way of looking at something and you become uh, in a certain way resurrected to a whole new life. And that is what's the challenge. And at the foundation, um, Aquarius, there is a, a lot of um, passionate desire, ambition, um, energy to go for something. And that's uh, your own the move. And that is what you might not be able to see because this is kind of at the foundation or it could be out of your uh, sphere of consciousness. But there is that a powerful energy. And these knights, especially the knight of wands, goes for what they want and they get it. And what happened recently or what you've been focusing on in the recent past was this sun, this happiness, this um, success, this feeling of abundance. Because when the sun shines on us, it illuminates everything and we can see clearly. So maybe something clear um, was uh, came to your mind about something in the past that you became awakened to something. And that's why this judgment card is coming because you're having to wake up and you're seeing something and you're hearing something. And it's saying, wake up Aquarius. And at the <clears throat> crown, what is a possible goal is learning to use your strength and knowing that you can get through whatever it is that um, you're being asked to uh, make a judgment call on because you're using that um, ability to uh, understand yourself and take your passions, those instinctual drives and desires um, for your goals, for how you want to um, engage in life and the spirit you bring to that. But you've got that strength. And what is coming right now is this amazing change. The wheel is turning. Some uh, sp uh, uh, could be um, with the wheel of fortune, a lot of luck, a lot of abundance. Um, you might be traveling. I see a lot of traveling cards with this, uh, the uh, wheel and the night of um, one, so there could be movement and energy as this question um, comes to you in this reading and how you're looking at that. And at the foundation of how you see yourself within this question, you're the queen of um, pentacles. Or whether you're a man or a woman, you're using uh, a lot of your abundance, your ability to manage resources and um, your career has grown and you have a lot of abundance both to um, use for your own enjoyment and uh, security and foundation of life, but also to share with others. There's a lot of generosity within you and um, you're independent and can sit on that throne of wealth and know how to nurture and help other people with their um, a physical surroundings, with their home life, with management of uh, properties. So that's uh, how you see yourself, Aquarius, and how you see uh, other people, the 
or the environment itself is that it's uh, a lot of <clears throat> uh, standing up for uh, what you believe. People around you are standing up, um, maybe standing up to you. Um, but it's saying that um, you might have to, with uh, your environment, defend a position, uh, stand true to a value, and realize that you've worked hard and you've used a lot of energy um, within that environment, or the other people have um, been bringing that to you, Aquarius. And as you come into your hope and fear of this question, it's saying love. Uh, love is both the hope and the fear. So as you um, ask this question, you're, and there's a, um, a confirmation about love, that there is this opening in your heart as you come to this question. And I think the love and that um, um, feeling of um, just this passion pouring out of you has something to do with your past, with your childhood, with relationships from your childhood. And it's um, at the crown, what your advice is. It's saying uh, the five of um, wands. Well, there is a lot of energy and you are working with your peers. Maybe there's a lot of feeling of competition among your peer group. Or uh, you're engaged in um, competitive sports and you're putting a lot of energy out there. But it's saying that... Uh, uh, you know, life isn't always easy, Aquarius, and so um, sometimes we are challenged as we move forward. A love can be a very challenging energy as well that um, causes us to have some um, competition around love or around how we are uh, pursuing a loving uh, situation or going after a love within our own life, the love of something we do, the love of another person. And that is a hope and fear. And your um, advice is, like it says, to keep on keeping on. Keep um, struggling. You might have some um, quarrels with people, but it's like you're going to go for this. And your energy is there uh, to move forward. There's change in the air energetically. And you've got the strength here to um, manifest that ability to love yourself and understand and to calibrate these energies within us, um, to know how to operate and use our uh, that power within us to the uh, highest and best. So a very interesting reading because you've got uh, judgment, the sun, uh, strength, and the wheel of fortune coming for you as you uh, approach this question you brought here today. And I hope you can use your own intuition to lead to insights about what kind of action you might need to take uh, coming up or how you need to process this wake-up call, this judgment you're being asked to look at because uh, the sun is shining brightly on it. Clarity is coming. You've got the strength uh, to go forward with this. And there is something energetically moving quickly, a uh, travel, change, opportunity, um, something lucky coming upon your uh, path right now as we come into uh, the present moment. So a beautiful reading, and I would love to uh, know how this um, comes out for you, Aquarius, as you um, go into this special, timeless reading. And let's get one um, angel oracle to summarize this reading for my Aquarius and I hope this reading has been resonating with you and this is what they want you to know healing energy aqua you see uh, that those two serpents that healing energy coming up through the wands and you are um, healing from something healing maybe from um, some emotional trauma from your childhood, but that you're making a judgment call on, and that is um, this sun is healing and shining on you, and you're coming into this healing energy. And the fairy message is a little affirmation, a little gift to take away from this reading. As you watch this reading, you might need 
something to keep you going forward as we're moving through these um, big changes on the horizon for Aquarius. Your desire is within reach. Wow, well, you have all of, of the help and support. The wheel of fortune's turning. Divine destiny is on your way. And have faith, Aquarius, as everything is working in your favor. Well, a beautiful reading, and I hope this um, spurs you on as you go into your day or this week or whenever you're uh, coming upon this reading, Aquarius. So thank you so much, and please subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up and let me know how this uh, message is resonating and what story is unfolding for you as you go into this um, power of this reading and the strength and the judgment and you've got the sun shining on you and potential love coming. So have a wonderful day and see you next time, Aquarius.